Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. This is Lisa, you're watching Yogi Hollow Farm. And today we are doing the Christmas cooking collaboration put out by Abundant Acres Homestead, which is Kenny and Angie. And I'll put the hashtag down below. And so I know it's for Christmas dinner. You know me, I gotta be different. But Christmas Eve is a night that we do hors d'oeuvres. We just make a whole bunch of hors d'oeuvres and we eat that kind of stuff. Christmas Day, it's just the two of us and we really won't make um, a large dinner. We'll make something like Thanksgiving for the two of us. So I chose to do this instead because this is a favorite recipe of mine. This is one thing I do know how to cook really well, and that's a lasagna. And I even do it with the Easy Bake noodles. So what you're gonna need is some salt, some pepper, some parsley, two eggs, two pounds of part skim ricotta cheese, two pounds of shredded part skim mozzarella, two jars of sauce, whether it's a sauce you've canned yourself or the equivalent amount of homemade sauce, which is what I'm gonna be using today, and about a box of the Barilla noodles, or any no-bake will do. So we're gonna use the oven-ready lasagna, and I'm gonna show you how to make it. And it's really, really easy, and the reason why I love to do it is I like to make it, put it in one of those foil trays, we eat it, we'll eat it tonight for dinner, and then what we'll do is put it in the fridge and we'll have plenty of lunch and dinners after that. So, come on along. All right, y'all, so I've got a pound of ground beef browning in the frying pan, and that's almost done. I make my own sauce. I would say have about the equivalent of two jars because I prefer more sauce because what happens is, is it soaks in. So that way when you have um, leftovers, it's not as dry. And then over here, I have two pounds of part skim ricotta cheese with two farm fresh eggs cracked in there, salt and pepper and parsley. And let's get going. I prefer to use a fork because it works better to incorporate everything. And why do I add the egg? Because it makes it creamier. So I add one egg to 16 ounces of ricotta, and I mix that real well. Yolks, whites, everything's in there. Seasonings, and that's what makes this really creamy. Now what I'm gonna do is add some Parmesan cheese, about a handful, and it helps if you break up the, the little balls that come in the jar. Then we're gonna mix that up. about a handful of shredded mozzarella, part skim, and I'm going to throw that in the ricotta mix and mix that up. And I wasn't sure if I mentioned it earlier, but you want to add, um, I said salt and pepper to the ricotta, but you also want to add parsley. It's all seasoned to taste. Parsley doesn't add a lot of flavor, but it's just nice to have in there. Okay, so now I'm gonna drain my ground beef and then we'll get started putting it together. So I've got the ground beef off and my homemade sauce. Just heating that up a bit. 
And what I'm going to do is, in this foil pan, I'm just going to put a very thin layer down below. want it to coat the pan and then I'm going to take my noodles and put them three across this pan and you want to leave a little space in between for when they expand I'm going to put a little bit of sauce on each noodle because that's essentially how they cook And again, it's going to look very saucy, but it all soaks in and the leftovers and all that. I'm going to take my ricotta mixture, just put a dollop on each one, spread it out. It does not have to be perfect, but you do want it to be somewhat spread out. If it mixes with the sauce, don't worry because it will heat in between the layers. And I'm going to sprinkle some meat. And then I'm going to sprinkle some shredded cheese okay just sprinkle a little on there and then I'm going to do more sauce just kind of like that And then I'm going to put more noodles. And I'm going to keep doing this process till I use up all I have. I just try to coat the noodles. It doesn't have to have a ton of sauce on it. Again, I like it a little more saucy. And the reason why is because of the leftover factor. Otherwise, it gets so dried out. Really the biggest thing is just making sure you eyeball that you have enough for the layers. Meaning that you don't use all your ricotta on three layers and then go, oh, I'm out of everything, you know. So some layers are thick, some are thin. And I'll do this to the top of the tray. And you know what, if you run out on one layer, no one's going to say anything, so don't worry. Diesel's at my feet and I have to keep tripping over him, which can be dangerous because you got to watch you don't burn him. Of course, he doesn't think of that. So I'm just going a little lighter on the sauce up here. 
I want to make sure I have enough. If I need to, I can make more. Watch out, Daisy. So I'm going to make this my last layer based on what I have left. It's just, I think it's good enough for the two of us. So I'm just going to make this a little cheesier by throwing the extra on top. It's one of those things I just play by ear. That's how easy this is. Okay. I realized how many layers I had and I think that's enough. So. Just put a little sauce. And I just want to save some for the top because I've got a little bit left. And for the two of us, this is going to feed us for several days. And I haven't even used a whole box of noodles. I have uh, three noodles left. I could have used them all. But quite honestly, I like to keep a little bit left over the box because then I buy one box and when one box isn't enough, when I make a big one, I'm good to go. And you can see the sauce is rising up on the edges there. If you feel like you're short of sauce, on the top, you can easily scoop from the sides to do that, because that's the beauty of this dish. And it's all right if a little cheese goes on top. Seriously, cheese. All right. I'm gonna put some of this. I know, I did it out of order, but it's fine. Plus, it's also mixed in with everything, too. But I like the bubbly cheese on the top. And I will cook this uncovered at 375 until it is not only bubbling, but you also have the cheese starting to crunch up on the top. So you don't want it black by all means, but you want it to have like a golden bubbly brownish tint to it. So. My oven is preheated to 375. I'm gonna put it in. It's gonna take probably about a half hour, 45 minutes. Um, it's also one of those things I play by ear, so 
Let's pop it in the oven and I will bring you back when it's done. Quick tip while we're waiting on the lasagna to cook. Remember how I didn't use the whole box? Well, I just took what was left, put it back in the box and taped it up and it'll be just fine. So hold on to it because sometimes you have a bigger foil pan. Um, don't feel compelled to use all the noodles. Just make sure that you use um, enough to make, uh, so if you lay three across in the pan, you wanna use three across on every layer and make sure you end with a thir three across on the top. So that's the important thing. Other than that, it's game on. All righty, it has been about 45 minutes for the lasagna and the top is just the way I like it. So I take it out of the oven and I'm gonna let it sit before I cut it. But that's what it looks like. And that's what I meant by that golden brown because you want that cheese to get to that point. Um, at least that's how I like it. <laughs> so um, let me let it sit for a bit and then we'll come back and cut a piece. Okay guys, so this sat a lot longer than I anticipated because I had to do chores and I just got in from feeding the animals but it's still hot enough for me to eat. So I'm gonna do the taste test. And you can see that little piece is a lot of food and this is gonna last a while. Oh, so good, so good. I love when the top of the cheese gets crisp like that or browned like that. And the egg in the uh, ricotta just, it really makes it creamy. And I just love this and my family loves it. And we'll have a lot of meals off of this and whatever we don't eat, we can also freeze, um, but it never usually happens. So <laughs> the good news is we're gonna have lasagna till Christmas. So that works perfectly. So. Kenny and Angie, here it is. Hope you enjoyed it and um, super, super easy to make. And believe it or not, people think that those um, no-bake lasagna noodles are terrible. They're not, they're really good. They make life easy. You just need to cover them with enough liquid so that way they don't taste like cardboard. That's what ends up happening is people don't put enough liquid on it. And when that's the case, that's when they get cardboard like otherwise they taste really good and it just takes a fraction of the time to make compared to cooking lasagna noodles so for me I'm a good old Italian girl and this works great for me so enjoy take care everybody